got a bowl of spaghetti down here and I'm just gonna see how long it takes the rats to wake up and realize that it's there. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So hopefully, fingers crossed, if you've been watching my videos for a while or if you've been researching into rats, you'll know that rats are social animals and they have to be kept in pairs or groups. But I wanted to address the question of whether it's actually okay to only have two rats and just keep a pair of rats as opposed to keeping a group of three, four, five, six or more rats in a group. So in short, the answer is yes, it is okay to keep rats in just a pair, but okay is not enough. We want to strive for more than okay when it comes to any animal care really. So I wanted to explain why it's better to keep rats in a group as opposed to a pair. So I think really when it comes to me telling people that you have to keep rats in pairs or groups, a lot of people will disagree with the pair part of that, but I tend to aim for pairs or more just because a lot of people come to me saying they have a single rat, and I think telling someone they have to have three, four extra rats on top of that can be quite overwhelming, especially if it's coming from someone that's a bit younger and they're not really in control of their finances, and their parents are saying they can't really even get one more rat compared to the one rat they've already got. I think aiming for at least another rat on top of that is a lot more manageable for them and their parents, making sure that rat can have social company. Rather than telling someone you need to get two, three, four more rats, that's gonna be quite overwhelming to start with. So that's why you'll find me advertising rats as an animal that has to live in pairs or groups. Obviously I do think that groups are better for rats in the long run, but if you've got someone that's housing a rat by themselves, they could become overwhelmed with the idea of having to get two, three, four more rats. I don't want to push them too much to start with if that means that rat is not going to get the social company it needs. I would rather rats be living in pairs than not at all and living by themselves. But for a few reasons, I do think it is much more beneficial to have rats living in groups, which I'm going to go on to explain. So for just a bit of a backstory, I started out with two rats like most people do and I had a fairly small cage compared to this one. There is a video of me reacting to my old rat care which I'll leave in the iCards and the description but I had a fairly small cage which wasn't really big enough to have any more than two rats to start with, especially male rats because they get quite big but I didn't really have enough space to add any more rats to that and I wasn't really intending to. I never really intended to have rats more than just the two to start with you do kind of get sucked into it and you do have to keep owning them and now look where I am but I just started with two rats and I thought that was perfectly fine and perfectly normal and I do think a lot of people will start with this and don't really get a big enough cage to add more into the mix. So when it came to my first rat passing away, leaving one living by itself, obviously I then went out and got two more rats to live with them and the cage I had at that point was not big enough to have three adult male rats and I did have to get a slightly bigger cage so when I say to people that have a single rat, go out and get them a friend, another rat to live with, I mostly say get a pair to start with for them because chances are if they've not done enough research to have rats as a pair or a group, they've probably not got a big enough cage to have multiple rats to start with and I'd rather they have those rats living in a pair to start with than cramming a bunch of rats into a tiny cage that most people start with as a starter cage so I will tend to offer people the advice of go for a pair of rats or get your single rat another friend or another few friends but for a lot of people starting with a group is overwhelming and you don't have to do that. But there are so many benefits to housing rats in more than just a pair, which I thought I'd talk about because these can cause issues later down the line that could be avoided if you had more than just two rats to start with. So if you're choosing to get your first ever rats, it is okay to start with a pair of rats as long as you're aware that you are going to have to add more to this later on and your cage is going to have to accommodate for this. So the reason you will have to add more rats to that pair as time goes on is just simply because rats are social animals and inevitably one of those rats is going to pass away before the other one and you can't have that other rat living by itself. So this is where you're going to want to have something called a rolling group. I recommend adding new rats to your pair of rats or your pre-existing rats when your first rats are about six months to a year old just to make sure if one of them does start to pass away you're not left with a single rat by itself. So this is where rats go from being a very short term commitment in terms of their very short lifespan that most people expect them to be, all the way to a long term commitment in terms of groups where you have to keep that social element going for years and years by adding new rats. So if you're watching this and thinking I only want to have two rats and I probably won't want to have any more rats after that, you are going to have to start thinking about the end of life care for your rats when one of them passes away. You either have to add new rats to the group 
or you have to be home like right to someone that can keep them living socially as they're meant to with other rats that they have as well. So that is the first reason I don't recommend just having a pair of rats, just because if something suddenly happens to one of them, you are gonna be left with a lone rat, which is really not ideal for them. So I always recommend starting with three rats or starting with two rats and adding more in about six months time just to keep the group going. Of course, you can start with as many rats as you want to. You can start with three rats, four rats, five rats, even six rats if you want to. Just be mindful that they could all get sick at the same time and this can be very, very costly and you'll need to pay for all of them across the board and also they'll start to get old all at the same time and this can bring its own health issues. Grumble. Now he's having a wee. In one end, out the other. So just be aware if you start with five baby rats, these could all turn into five elderly rats that have their own set of issues, five lots of vet bills, five lots of sadness all at once. And that's why I always recommend having a rolling group of varying different ages of rats just to space things out a bit. Have you eaten all of that spaghetti? It's all in this belly. Oh my gosh. So the second reason I don't recommend just having a pair of rats is simply because the dynamics of a group is so much better than just having a pair. I like to compare it to if you were just stuck in a room with one person for your whole life, which is kind of what I'm doing at the moment, but just imagine you only have that one person, you can't go to anyone else for advice, you can't talk to anyone, or socialize with anyone else besides that person. You're probably gonna get a little bit frustrated with them, and that can show in rats as well. So say for example, if you have a pair of rats that have very different personalities, one rat is really playful and energetic, the other one is a bit more shy, calm or chill, this rat is going to be constantly pestering them, trying to play with them, annoying them. This can really stress out that rat by itself, and this can also lead to fighting. Of course, you can still have one really annoying rat in the group that's constantly pestering everyone, but this is going to be split equally or somewhat equally between the other rats. Some rats could be having a break from this, whilst the others are being pestered and played with, and that's not going to cause as much stress and tension on the group. So that's another reason why it's recommended to keep your rats in groups as opposed to just pairs, because the social interactions and the social dynamics are going to be a lot more stable than they are going to be with a pair, or it's a bit more forced and you might have just one rat picking on the other rat. Rats in the wild naturally live in big groups and they will form a hierarchy within this and you'll see a hierarchy within your rats in a group at home. It's going to be a lot more stable for them. I also just wanted to quickly add into this part that of course having a large group of rats can bring its own issues in terms of trying to get them to live seamlessly as a group. Some rats just don't like other rats and introductions can be hard or long term. Trying to have them all together as a group can bring its own set of issues so sometimes this can be tricky and there can be problems but I think generally long term with rats if you don't have rats that have hormonal aggression usually a larger group is fine but there can be a few bumps along the way. Also if you have a larger group of rats they can kind of pick and choose their friendships and their relationships. I did my dissertation at university on these social interactions of rats I spent a lot of time sitting, watching, studying the rat's behaviours and my study did find that rats tend to gravitate towards one individual to share most of their social interactions with, like grooming, sleeping, cuddling. They tended to have a best friend in the group and you can't really do that with pairs. Are you best friends? Is that your best friend? Who's your best friend? Say for example, in humans, if you had a big group of people in the room, there's probably one person that you gravitate towards and you have the most in common with, and they will probably be your best friend, but if you're forced into a room with someone and you can only interact with that one person, you'll probably get along for the sake of getting along and getting along because you have no other choice, but they might not be your best friend, they might not be the person you have the most in common with, so adding more rats into the mix allows them to pick and choose which one is going to be their best friend and probably makes things a bit more harmonious when it comes to all of their interactions. So yeah, those are the main reasons why it can be beneficial to have a group of rats instead of just a pair of rats. If you're watching this and you only have two rats at the moment, I highly, highly recommend adding more to the group. And if your parents aren't allowing you to get any more rats, now is your chance to send this video and get yourself some more rats. Of course, if you are thinking of adding more rats to your group, please make sure you can afford them and afford any vet bills that might pop up because the more rats you have, the more vet bills there can be all at once sometimes and this can be quite scary and quite hard to manage. So please make sure you can afford any new pets or any new rats you get in the future. But in general, the more rats, the merrier. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.